This is Paranormal Short Session 4 by Keith Evans at the grave of Dr. John Gorey. Today I don't have a, uh, a question for Dr. John Gorey, but I would like to uh, ask Dr. John Gorey to ask me a question. If he doesn't want to ask me a question, then uh, I'll leave it open to uh, someone else within the ghost of spirit rim to ask me a question today. How's that sound? All right, there's my Oblis 5B. Decided, ax. <laughs> well, you decided to ask me about an ax. I don't own an ax. I used to own one when I was younger. Do you have another question for me? See, Dr. John Gorey's uh, tombstone here is uh, in the sun, and then I'm standing in the shade. <laughs> And there's bits of uh, sun shining through. So it's still somewhat easy for me to see the Oblis 5. I have to kind of swivel around so I'm totally in the shade so, so I can see the screen. Well, let's look up and enjoy this blue sky. It's nothing but blue sky. I don't see any clouds. That's what I like about Florida weather. You get these days where it's nothing but blue sky. <laughs> and it's nice out. It's it's warming up to the point where you're probably going to need... Uh, well, you're probably not going to need any jacket or anything like that. Earlier this morning it was a little bit cooler, but I wasn't outside that much. And the wind has died down. When the wind is blowing, uh, you feel it more on the core days. All right. Dr. John Gorey, can you give me the address of where you last lived in Apalachicola, Florida? If you don't remember the address, because I know there's like this fog of death where certain things a uh, ghost or spirit can't remember, but most ghosts and spirits can remember emotions. What is the best and or worst thing that ever happened to you at the address where you lived in Apalachicola, Florida? Looks like I'm getting radio silence from the ghost of spirits today. Crash. What crashed when you lived at your last residence there in uh, Apalachicola? This is Dr. John Gorey. Now I'm going to be using this on social media, so I wanted to let you know. Uh, probably a, a little bit of it will be on Instagram and uh, Twitter. So, if you don't mind that, uh, you can choose all the words you have energy for on my Obelis 5B. I truly feel that the Obelis 5B takes a lot of energy. And most ghosts and spirits just run out of energy before they get their message across. The message has to be short and sweet. Otherwise, the paranormal investigator is just left hanging without a complete message. I get crash a lot. Is this the same person uh, 
who first told me about the crash that was associated with a man named Dan. Well, uh, let's go back up and look at the uh, sky, the blue sky. Check out this tree first. That tree has got all brand new leaves. It's looking good. We got nothing but blue sky. I'll try that duck under the sun so I don't blind you. Nothing but blue sky. <laughs> How's that look? That's pretty cool, huh? Well, <clears throat> I got fingerprints on the face of my Obelus 5B. I'll rub it and try to get the fingerprints off. <clears throat> L. Letter L. Well, I don't know what L stands for. Can you tell me what L stands for? Anyway, getting back to the Obelisk 5, just be very careful uh, with your Obelisk 5 that you don't, uh, when you pick it up, that you don't touch the screen because your fingerprints are going to be left and then it's going to smear. And when you go to take pictures, you're going to get that. Uh, at night, it may not be that bad, but during the day, if you got any sunlight shining on the uh, screen, you're not going to get a very good picture or video of uh, the words that the Obelisk 5 has given you. Okay, Axe was spelled A-X-E. I think something's biting my leg. Um, crash is spelled C-R-A-S-H. And just the letter L. Can you tell me what the letter L stands for? I mean, I'm always baffled when ghosts and spirits choose letters you know whether they were trying to choose a word but the you know maybe they're trying to spell it out and I don't know if the ghost or spirit has to choose every letter of a word or whether they can go to the database within the obelisk 5b and just choose the whole word but that would be my advice. I mean, I've never been a ghost or spirit, and I've never been inside of the Obelisk 5B attempting to choose words. And some people feel that just the, being any type of energy bearing near the Obelisk 5 will choose words. And, you know, sometimes that might be true if you're a ghost or a spirit, but if you're you know, electrical appliance or a computer or a laptop or a cell phone, you know, or your electrical treadmill, it does not choose words from the Oblis 5B. So, I'll uh, ask the ghosts and spirits one more time uh, if they have anything they'd like to say. Dr. Gory, I'd just like to thank you for your uh, creative knowledge, uh, for your uh, knowledge on uh, developing the mechanical development of ice and um, refrigeration. I'd like to thank you for that. Alright, this has been Paranormal Short Session 4 by Keith Evans, and I am at the grave of uh, Dr. John Gorey. I want everyone to have a, uh, <laughs> a good day. Well, today is, let me think, the 28th of March 2021, and it is a Monday. Thank you. Have a good day.